Welcome back. In this video, we will learn to use the polymer builder panel to build a simple polyvinyl chloride polymer model. Make sure you are back in your materials underscore intro project in your materials underscore intro working directory. Let's begin. To access the polymer builder panel, go to tasks, materials, structure builders, polymer. The polymer builder panel opens. The settings on the groups tab can be changed to produce a wide variety of polymer models. For example, maintain the monomer type as all atom and the initiator and terminator as hydrogen. You can build coarse grained or carbohydrate models from this panel as well and to find the initiators and terminators other than hydrogen. In the monomer section, switch the drop down menu from custom to vinyl underscore chloride. If you want to generate copolymers, additional monomers can be defined. Custom monomers can be sketched with a 2D sketcher. If you hover over C2H3Cl, you can see the template sketch associated with the vital chloride monomer, where R1 and R2 represent the head and tail connections. Note that when sketching monomer units, we draw the chemistry of the repeat unit after the polymerization, rather than, in this case, the precursor, vinyl chloride. This allows us to specifically designate the head and tail. Go to the Composition tab. Retain the homopolymer selection with 10 for the number of monomers. This means that each polymer unit will be composed of 10 monomers. Note that if you were to run the job at this point, you would build one 10 more unit, which could then be used as a component of a disordered system. However, because we wish to model a PVC homopolymer, we can produce our periodic cell directly using the amorphous cell tab in this panel. Go to the amorphous cell tab. Click Create Amorphous Cell. For dihedral angle distribution, choose Boltzmann at 300K. The polymers will grow simultaneously in the cell via a self avoiding random walk. For number of polymers, input 25. This job will create a box with 1,550 atoms. 62 atoms per polymer times 25 polymers in the box. We can retain the remaining default settings, including the initial density. It is always recommended to build your starting model with relatively low density to avoid clashing. Remember that the output will just be a starting model. It has not yet been equilibrated by molecular dynamics, after which the density will approach the expected value. This will be our first example where we must run a job Change the job name to polymer underscore builder underscore PVC. To adjust job settings, you can always click on the gear button. Make sure that you have a CPU host set to run this job, but note that your host options may not match those shown in the video. If you have no available hosts, visit the cluster setup for Schrodinger Jobs help page. The documentation homepage will be displayed after this video. Otherwise, click run. For a complete description of the powerful capabilities of the Polymer Builder panel, including how to construct more elaborate polymers, click the question mark icon to see the associated help documentation. Now back to the workspace. Let's close the Polymer Builder panel. You will notice that the job has started because the job monitor will turn green. We will discuss the job monitor in more detail in an upcoming video. For now, wait for the job to complete. It should be relatively quick. When the job is complete, a banner will appear and a new entry group will be incorporated titled MD Polymer underscore builder underscore PVC underscore system one, containing one entry titled amorphous polyvinyl chloride. Include the amorphous polyvinyl chloride entry. The box is visible in the workspace. It is a periodic amorphous cell containing 25 PVC tinmers. Note again that the system is not yet equilibrated by molecular dynamics. If you're interested in learning by molecular dynamics simulations, later materials will cover introductory concepts, as well as many workflows which involve building, equilibrating, and analyzing polymer systems. For example, from here, you might calculate the thermophysical properties, measure the mechanical responses, or study polymer crosslinking. Explore the detailed documentation at www.schrodinger.com slash learn slash training slash materials dash science where you can access help pages, mini tutorials, 
and information on the online course offerings that could assist you in studying polymer systems, including Schrodinger's online course titled Molecular Modeling for Material Science Applications, Polymeric Materials. Visit Schrodinger's online learning page for a full course description. In this video, we learned to build an amorphous homopolymer with a polymer builder. In the next video, we will learn to build a multi-component system. See you there!